The Islamic Center of West Michigan was the very first mosque in the Grand Rapids area. It opened in 1985, but since 9-11, it's endured some hard times. Our Lauren Edwards joins us live with more on how they got through it all. Lauren. Guys, 9-11 and the years after that have been incredibly difficult for time for many and includes the Islamic Center here in town. But when I spoke with the director, he says what he remembers most is the people who helped them overcome it all. Publicly, uh, it was a very nice time and we were enjoying and this uh, house was full at that time when I came and people were attending. Dr. Sharif Sahibzada remembers what the Islamic Center of West Michigan was like before 9-11. When there was no 9-11, very peaceful circumstances and everybody was loving. American uh, people, basically, they're open-minded. Then on September 11, 2001, the World Trade Center in New York City was attacked and everything changed, he says, even here in Grand Rapids. It was shaken by the tragedy. I was hurt because my whole community was hurt. They were unable to attend the congregation and go out something even they were not able to express that they are Muslims as well. It was a hard time for everyone he says however he didn't see or experience too much hatred or Islamophobia. I ignored it because that was a hard time everyone was facing very difficulty and problems so we have to bear and show patience. Dr. Sahib Zara says what he remembers most though is the love local churches showing support for the Muslim community. That the ladies they also celebrated or hold a scarf day for the Muslim women because we were unable to, our families and our ladies, they were unable to go to do the shopping even. Neighbors even created and gave them these signs of support after former President Trump implemented the Muslim ban. It's things like this that got them through the hard times, he says. And his message for everyone is that we continue to learn about one another so we can all be united. My request is this one, please try to understand the Muslims and the Islams because first we are human beings. Now, Dr. Saheb Zada is well known around town. He is passionate about educating others about Islam, Muslim, and their culture. And I recently also interviewed a Michigan State University professor who was profoundly impacted by 9-11. And tomorrow you will hear more of his story. Reporting for now live in the newsroom, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you that